Hello and welcome to episode 62 of series 6 of Master Lead Story Mode. We return, we're back to Brazil, and we are flying high at the moment. Look at that top of the table, 43 points as we make our way into the second half of the season. We're just about to approach, anyway, the second half of the season. We're flying, absolutely flying. Uh, we knew after last season that we were always due um, to really at least be in the conversation this season uh, for Serie A, for Copa Libertadores. But we've started even better than I thought we would. Uh, Rendulic, Youssef, welcome aboard. Good to have you here. Um, as you can see, all of you, from the title of this episode, the big thing that we're looking at here is uh, Mara Jr.'s future at the club. I probably, if it wouldn't, if it wasn't for the uh, suggestions from you guys, maybe I would have let him slide. But I've got to take on board the opinions of the learned public. And your opinions have been that we need to do better. And then, as if by magic, as if by, I don't know, fate, call it fate, call it magic, whatever you will, we did have a big in, a big in, a big bid in for the big lad. And uh, 43 million real from China is going to be difficult to turn down. Yes, he is worth 66 million, but he has a 48 million release fee. So we would probably take that, to be honest. We would probably take it. That puts us up to 87, 88 million. <sighs> 88 million. You know, that's, that's a lot of money. Without having to sell any other players... We could sign an 88 million value transfer budget attacking midfielder. And we've got 8.6 million in the salary budget. Maybe this will be the one player that absolutely defines our season. Who knows? But I think we're going to have a look. Uh, Solo, Malauna, James Smith, welcome aboard. Good to see you here as ever. Um, I think we're going to have a little delve into the advanced search. Let's just remind ourselves. I think 78 is still our top rating. Yeah. Still pretty low, still pretty low. 79 would have been nice. Gabby No Goals has certainly got an opportunity to make it to 79. He's due. Thiago Maia could still improve. He feels like a much older player than he is. He's only 24 years old. He could still improve. By the end of the window, one of those two could conceivably make it to 79. Camposano, probably not. MJ has been sneaking up, but he is actually levelling off in terms of development. And for that reason, I think I have to agree. At 22 years old, you'd expect to see a more enticing development sheet than that, certainly. Shay, Silas, welcome aboard. Good to have you along for the ride. As we've been discussing, and as is in the title, MJ could be on his bike. We had a big bid in from China. Could take us up to 88 million transfer budget, and we've got salary budget to burn as well. rest of the team were feeling pretty good with we could probably end up loaning a striker to um to back up ziggy i think that would probably do the trick so we do need to change these up left backs what are we doing did we no, we haven't sold Tavares, have we? we haven't sold Tavares yet so we are still looking for a stand in left back we did find one for a 12 million uh loan fee Yep, so if we need to sell Tavares, I mean, we probably should just do that because Tavares is not important to this side. Um, and no one's been that impressed with... I mean, everyone's been fairly impressed with Lincoln and Yuri Alberto as signings, but I think we can all agree, with Ziggy continuing to score, it would be a waste of money. But I do think buying an incredible upgrade at attacking midfield would be an interesting one. So we're going to have to have a look. We're going to have to change the scouts first. Yep, that needs to be done. ASAP. I think we just need to go attacking mids across the board. It might be a bit too late. Um, we'll go attacking mid. Overall rating. And then we'll go attacking... Mm. Uh, the thing is, Bustos, who has started to already come into his own, is certainly a potential centre forward if needed. And then we've got Asano and Roni out on that right wing to back him up. Hmm. Yeah, we might as well go all in on attacking mids. And we'll go Argentina overall rating there. Uh, Aiden, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard everyone first. But uh, Aiden, Gustavo Scarpa, I think he's spelt, is a good Brazilian attacking midfielder. He absolutely is. And he was scouted for us last season, end of last season. We very nearly signed him. Um, so what we're going to do now is 
go and take a look through Brazil. We're going to be able to offer potentially 100 million. <laughs> so we may be able to snag someone via a, uh, a lower than normal uh, release fee. That's certainly a way in for us to sign an incredible player. We will we'll go up to 79. I don't know if we're going to reach that before the end of the window. 78 means we can sign him straight away. 79 means it would be a bit of a speculative one. Um, let's keep the release fees up here. Giuliano. No. Oscar. Oh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Still good stats, actually. Bit slow. He was never super quick, was he? That release fee's not going to work for us. Actually, let's just, first of all, try transfer list. Okay. I think we want someone who's who's an attacking midfielder. And look, Maragini is right up there when we're talking Brazilians. He is right up there. I think the scouts, as usual, the scout is going to be vital here. Pedrinho. There's not a lot really here that's exciting me. Not a lot at all. I mean, if we're going to find anything, it might be below Mara Jr. in the pecking order. Hmm. So we could be more dependent than we would like. Oh, no, that's transfer list at the moment we're looking at. Okay. So there's no good free agents that have just popped up that we didn't know about. No. So let's look at them all. Mm hmm. Okay. Vitinho, he was scouted and we liked Vitinho. I think he's now dropped off the scouting list. Um, Bernard. Everton. Yeah. I mean, what are we looking for? What are we looking for? We're looking for, in the MJ position, we need someone who's at least... We want 75 speed. And they need to have good ball control and dribbling. I think if we just make sure that this is the low end of what we can expect in terms of their dynamism moving forward, it might be a good place to start. It still doesn't make them particularly exciting with those stats, but at least it's a starting point. Uh, Luis Raul. Mourinho, just look to him. Hmm. Surprisingly small amount of actually, you know, native attacking midfielders. Igor Gomez, 22-year-old, he looks good. He looks really good. He's quick. Good bat. He's just a good all-rounder, really. 22 years old. Let's compare him to... Um, where's MJ? There he is. So technically, he's much better than MJ. He's not as good on the ball. It's MJ's sort of... Well, his finishing's not that bad, actually. 76 finishing now. It's always been his end product that's been the issue. Pace-wise is about the same. It's not really floating my boat there. I just don't know if we're going to find someone who does. Um, hmm. Should we be looking in some of the linked sides? Maybe we just do need to wait on the scout on this. Uh, what are some of the sides that we have looked at? We found a link at... We did have a Manchester City and a Chelsea link. I don't even know why we're going to look. Do you know what I am going to look at, though? While we're here. And I can't remember what the link we found for Watford was. But can we bring Troy Deeney in on a loan? <laughs> can we bring him in? Just to sort the problems that we've got. We wanted him. We were so close to pulling the trigger there. Uh, we only want him on a six month loan little Brazilian holiday Troy I know he's not happy to play football at the moment I completely understand that but you never know he might just fancy it it's not going to happen isn't it that was a waste 
of a negotiation. I think we are going to have to wait it out on the scouts, sadly enough. We've got a couple of attacking midfielders in here, which we could potentially look at. Sarah Fiore could be within reach by the end of the window. He's decent. He's not quick, though. Jean-Pierre, I mean, none of these guys are particularly quick. Dudu is quite quick. Dudu is good. Dudu is maybe an upgrade on Mara Jr. Can't fucking even deal with him at the moment because I've just put in a loan bid on Troy Deeney because I'm an absolute twat. But he could be an option. Oh, yeah, these are fake players. It's not going to work for us. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. We struggle a little bit with attacking midfield scouting in general. Nothing in the list. Rainier, yeah, the one that we, we cast aside. It's not fully formed enough for me yet, though. That's the problem. He's got great potential, but we need more than potential at the moment. We need someone who's going to slot in and absolutely smash things. Because MJ's been okay. Not great, but okay. I think we're just going to have to keep moving. Uh, oh, yeah, we've got a couple more leaders in the side now. Marcinho and Luis Fernando stepping up to that role. Uh, but I think we're just going to get into things today. Did we permanently change to two centre forwards? We did. And I think we are going to stick with that. I think we're going to stick with that. It seemed to work pretty well. Bustos with is it two in his last two. Can't argue with that at all. Fortunately, he's on a downward arrow today. So I think we're going to have to change that, sadly. Uh, although, just to keep his form up with Asano, the other option... Oh, we'll give him a few minutes just because we're enjoying playing with him at the moment. Everyone else, tired legs in this side, but I think... Oh, even as on a downward arrow, I'm looking really tired. But as someone pointed out in the comments of the last episode, even as and uh, Gabby no goals, what a incredible duo they have been for us. They are the spine of this side, they keep things together, Ivan as well behind them. Without those three, we certainly wouldn't be anywhere close to where we are today. They do a lot of their work without really making much noise about it, but they are pretty exceptional. Poor form all round today, actually. Poor form all round. We're in general good form at the moment. I think we're going to keep things as they are. Yes, we are. And we're going to get into it here. Up against Fortaleza. Promoted last season, and that's all I can tell you about them. Let's get into it. Right, start strong. Ah, we're top of the table and we've got three winnable games today. We want three wins. Let's not forget there's going to be a lot of games to come. Still in the Copa Libertadores. Zico's got international duty. And I think maybe as, as soon as the next episode, we're going to be stepping out into our first friendly of the season. Let me know in the comments which Ponte Preta players you think we should be... Uh, Drafting in to the Brazil squad. I've certainly got two or three in mind. I wouldn't mind that entire back line, to be honest. But, you know, there's probably some better options. Uh, but it's going to be fun anyway. We're certainly going to have to have Ziggy up there. He absolutely deserves a call-up with his performances. For the last three seasons. It's not even like he's a one-season wonder. He's smashing it. Oh, Ribeiro almost got to that. Good ball from Mourinho. Ah, oh, Camposano, lovely work. Not been in the best of form recently, Camposano. And Everton Ribeiro takes that on the run. Oh, so much space ahead of him. You can just slip it into Ziggy here. Oh, you are an absolute... Oh, you beautiful bastard. Almost drops his defender. He does drop his defender. First chance of the game there. And it's coming to Ponte Preta. Thiago Maia, Ziggy this time isn't going to miss. There we go. <laughs> Ziggy, 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 can't you see? Enrique, welcome aboard. You didn't miss much. Five minutes into the first game and Ziggy is off the mark. You can set your watch by it. The first opportunity would have been a sweeter goal. But given a second opportunity. Yeah, not going to miss that one. And you get to see the first opportunity here. No, it's a good ball from MJ. Chago Maia getting forward, simple cutback and a simple finish. Lovely football, lovely football all around there. Fortaleza have been caught napping. 
and we continue our goal scoring form. We're looking as, uh, as scary at the moment as we have done in recent times. Had a little bit of a poor patch, but now our team spirit is looking good and we're starting to make things happen more regularly and with more style, which has always been part of Zico's plan for this side. Jogger Benita, and there's a bit of it there. Oh, Thiago Maia. Maybe slightly overcommitted there. Felipe Pires does really well to hold off MJ. Now Tinga. Oh no, yes. And he is off. The Brazilian Roberto Carlos. Ziggy's pulled wide here. Now well Bustos with a good run in the centre. Abner ooh, puts a little bit too much on that, but Ziggy will get there. MJ's touch. Only a mother could love there. And that breaks down. That was poor. Campuzano beaten really well there by Felipe Pires. Oh, almost wins it back. It's a good ball out to Pires again. Looking to get his side back in the game, but Abner's been absolutely huge for us. It's a lovely ball into Fantiago Maia. Assisted the first goal, and that's a beautiful ball into space for MJ. Looking for Bustos at the far post. It's a nice idea. It's a very nice idea. Ooh, misses the header there completely. Unlucky. They get to get a shot off here, but this looks to be their best chance of the game so far. Romarino steps back inside of Marcinho far too easily, but Thiago Maia's in there. He's had a great game so far. Oh, Camposano, that's... Oh, it's just so cool in possession. Saw that the pass wasn't on. Didn't go for it. Thiago Maia lofts one out to Marcinio. Oh, that's too easy. Dodo just nicks it off his feet. Oh, Thiago. Oh, no. No. <sighs> Bloody hell. Well, I don't know why Thiago Maia was the last man there. But he got it wrong. But luckily, I've got the let off there. Dodo. A bit of pressure here from the home side. Camposano does enough. Everton, that's risky. That's risky in the extreme. Oh, we'll be made to pay for that, though, no, Ivan. It's a good save to it. Unlucky. Okay. They've done well. They found a way back into this one. 25 minutes in. They could have let a steamroll of them. That's not going to happen. MJ puts it back over his own bar. Even though should have given him a shout there. Oh, even as don't go with him. I hate that. Hate it. Same as it, okay. Oh, he's done really well there. Struggling to win the ball back now. Just passing here from Porta Laser. That shouldn't be an issue for Ivan at all. Don't even know if he needed to go to that, and they continue the pressure here, the home side now. Their second corner in quick succession. Maybe Dodo over this one. He's looked good so far. Thiago Maia gets a. Solid header away, but still we can't clear our lines. Oh, it's just pinballing around the end of our box. Good ball in here. Gustavo with the turn. It was coming. It was absolutely coming. Shit, well, he's barely touched the ball since putting it in the back of their net. It's just pinging around the box there. Easy turn away from Gabby no rolls. And honours are once again even in a game that has swung back and forth already. That's pretty poor. MJ now. Into Ziggy. Outpowered there. To Ribeiro. Flights it long, looking for even as at the far post. That's lovely. Oh. There's always going to be a chance of someone lurking there. The senior steps inside. Ziggy. Oh, looking for Bustos. It was a nice idea. Probably had the shot on. That's a very poor ball. Damn it. Half an hour gone. Looks so dominant in the first sort of ten minutes of this game. Barrow into MJ. And for Barrow again. Fortunate to find him. Abner, he's having a great game. Having no goals. Out to Abner. Inside to MJ. Simple stuff. And it looks to cut inside. That's poor. 
Okay, yeah, they've certainly come into this game. Oh, Thiago Mai, yes. And no foul called. Thiago Mai ball inside looking for Bustos. He's yet to have a touch in this game. MJ keeps it alive. Everton Ribeiro can't get there. Thiago Mai can. Camposano, if he can look up, there's loads of space outside for Marcinho. Now Ribeiro. Ziggy, back to MJ. It's lovely football here. Oh, it took your time over the back lift for that shot. It's good football though. Oh, but now we're in a whole world of pain here. Ibanez chooses to go across and it's the right choice. Romarino, good ball in. Gabby, no goals. Wins it in the air, but once again, struggling to clear our lines. Oh, oof, bloody hell. Okay. That's not a good throw. Oh, no. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him, Gabby. Oh, Christ. Okay. Hmm. It's going to be the old drawing board, I think, at half time. Try and work out what's gone wrong. MJ, nice. Having it into Everton Ribeiro. Oh, that wasn't the ball we were looking for. Ziggy or Everton could get to it. They don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Half time, I think, is about right for us now. Need to reassess here. Oh, but MJ's got time. Take that down. Oh, and then get tackled. Too easily by Tinga. And that will be half time here. In wherever Fortaleza is. I think it is in Fortaleza. That might be the city. Started very sharply in this one. We tailed off a bit. I mean, we are tired. Fatigue is an issue across the whole team. We're probably going to need to make early changes here. Um, Bustos. Certainly struggling to get involved in poor form. Oh, that's gorgeous. Ribeiro. Oh, that is it. That is the problem with MJ. That was the simplest pass of that sequence. Fairly basic through ball into space for his man. Couldn't make it connect. Oh, nothing wrong with that. Plays ball in. Ooh, good header. Oh, that's not the that's not the fucking throw we were looking for there, Ivan. Oh, no. Comes up against a brick wall there, but we get it away. Jim Ribeiro, the classiest man in this side. And Bustos lays it off to Marcinho. Marcinho looking for Ribeiro. No! Thiago Maia does really well. Wins the battle there against a much taller man now, Abner. Can he whip a good ball in? He can. Ziggy's working. <laughs> Lurking even. Ribeiro now. Out to Abner. Back inside. Everton Ribeiro takes it on the run. Oh, could nick it back here. Ball across to Bustos. Yes! <laughs> Bustos. Two tap-ins today for the two centre-forwards. Bustos has had very little to do. Poor form and tired coming into this game. But really, it was a gift from Fortaleza there. We had no right to find our way through here. The defender with the Cruyff sort of half Cruyff turn <laughs> in his own box. He'll be reliving that in his nightmares for days to come. It's everything Ribeiro nicks in. And then very, very calm from Everton Ribeiro. Just to square it there. We've got it. I mean, if we've got two tap-in merchants up top, then I'm fine with that. Sano would miss those sort of tap-ins on a regular basis. That's what we want. Two dead-eye South American strikers. Oh, Gabby no goals does really well. MJ now into Thiago Maia. Very good ball out to Everton Ribeiro. Now Bustos into Marcinho. Steps inside, Bustos again. Oh, just dispossessed there, that's unlucky. Chagamaya tries to slow him down. And Pisano does as well. And then Ibanez is in there. The headmaster. Still good with his other foot. MJ now. Oh, where are you going, MJ? The pass was on there. Tried the fancy when the simple would have done it. It's almost like he wants us to sell him. Ibanez, once again. He just powers through the pitch, does Ibanez. He is a Rolls Royce of a defender. 
Christoph's lovely take and turn away from Melo. Great work from the Argentinian. Into the box here, low ball. That's not so great. Not so great at all. Like the turn though. Even on poor form. Looks sharp. MJ so nearly won that back. He needs a goal today. He needs a good performance. Oh, Gabby, no goals. Oh, nearly wins it. Still out there battling with Perez. Throws him to the ground. <laughs> get it back. Felipe now. Dangerous position here. Can he get the cross in? Gabby Nogal still out there battling. Gabriel Diaz. Oh, well they're happy to take their time over this one. And they have worked a position here. That's a good ball. No problem for Ivan at all. Distribution play hasn't been great, but that'll, that'll do. Oh, Ribeiro. Gabby, you got to get this. No, no. <sighs> Right, we've got to stop throwing it out with Ivan. That's not working for us. That is not working as a strategy. Have to keep the ball. That's Valdo. It's a good ball. Diego into the box. Oh, lovely first touch away from Thiago Maia. They're very happy to keep things moving until they create a good chance. It wasn't to be there. Now Thiago Maia will bring it forward. He's got Bustos ahead of him. A man out to his right-hand side as well. Ziggy's made a run. Oh, that's a little bit too much of him there, unfortunately. I don't know we'll keep it alive. Camposano into Bustos. Lovely turn. Oh, evades that challenge. Marcinho now. Decent-looking ball into the box. Camposano, can he keep it alive? Oh, it's a foul? No, not, not apparently. And Camposano. Diaz, out to Osvaldo, still only a very, very shaky lead here against the side who do look like they could score, Gabby Nogol says not on my watch, my friend, that's risky, but we get away with it, out to Marcinho now with a bit of space, Jonathan Ribeiro, Bustos has made a good run, to Ribeiro now, really slowing things down, Marcinho, Cuts back, one side to Bustos, lovely first touch and a decent effort from the Argentinian. Looking to continue his great goal re return since signing for the uh, the Blackbridge. And we were patient there with the build-up. Hamilton Rivera probably could have been a bit more incisive, but he went wide to Marcinho, simple ball in. We're not looking to score great goals today, we're looking to win this one. Why have we not made any subs? We are going to have some dead legs out here. Abner needs to come off. Yeah, he needs to come off. Um, yeah, we've left this way too late. Hours and hours too late. Uh, we'll do that and, oh, and that. I have to do, Marcinho, you've got the rest of the game to play, I'm afraid, my friend. Marcinho over this one. The outswinger. Oh, that's a good ball. Even as is there, could go anywhere. Here's Fernando just on the pitch, we'll get to this. It's Tavares. Quidzi back to Maya. Allison lays it off. Oh, Quincy, where are you going, mate? That's fucking your ball. That was on. Come on, five minutes. We can do this. That's a poor ball. Whoa, all right. All right there. Gabby across. Even as into space. I see you looking for Bristos. Oh, he has drawn a lot of fouls down that right-hand side today. Despite the poor form, he's had a good game. Hopefully this isn't as bad as it looks. Because he has brought a spark to this side since signing. He's scored goals. He's given us an extra dimension there that just Asano didn't do. And uh, the one they're calling the, the new Sergio Aguero. Or the new Latoro Martinez. I've seen that as well, which must be difficult. Martinez is already pretty new. 
Hopefully no injury there though. But he's undergoing treatment. Thiago Maia is going to take this to the corner. Back to Marcinio. Finds Cantazano. Plays it out to Fernando. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Matty Dubs, welcome aboard. Pixel North, hello. Welcome everyone who I've missed. Uh, you've not missed a huge amount in this game. Zidane scored a tap in, as did uh, Bustos. Two centre forwards on the score sheet. Got about three minutes left. And what was always likely to be a win. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Still two minutes of extra time to play here on the road. Listen. Ball inside here. Diaz, it's a clever ball. It's far too much on it, and we should be fine here. Just ten seconds left. We definitely need another. I think, I think we do definitely need another striker. That can be a loan signing though. End of the window. Troy Deeney on the loan. We're still holding out for that. But a comfortable win here today. Not our most exciting, but those are going to happen. Yeah, pretty even really. Just came down to creating the easier chances. More good performances from Bustos, the number 21 with a 7. MJ with a 5 today. Yeah, didn't look great. Thiago Maia was huge, actually. He completely deserves that 7.5. He was everywhere in the midfield, winning the ball back, creating goals. He's a great player. Those duos, those are the duos that make it for us. Even as Gabby, no goals. And uh, Camposano, Thiago Maia. We just need the attacking midfield duo to really hum like they do. That's where we need to uh, hopefully find something new. Unternich Tuba, morning all. Welcome. Morning, where are you? Unternich. That, that doesn't give me many clues. A streak of wins for Ponty Bretta. Looking very, very tasty at the moment. Let's check the messages. Oh, it's time to pick our sides for the friendly games. Do we need to do that now? I guess we do. What have we got? The Belgian game. We're just going to chuck in some Ponte Pritanos, aren't we, really? Oh, let's take a look at the side. I really can't be bothered to do this. Do I need to do this today? Let's take a look at the game plan. We've got to change it to, to our game plan, really, haven't we? Do I need to do this now? Oh, I do. I'm not going to change anything for now. We're going to try uh, We're going to try it as it is. We can change the formation when we get there. I just don't have the time. It's too fucking late. It's already 20 to, 20 to 11. We'll leave that. It's only the friendlies. And that is a good point, Matt. We don't want to make them tired, but... I mean, despite that, we're absolutely going to be picking two or three at least of our players when we get to a tournament. But I'm assuming this isn't the decision for the World Cup if we choose now. Can't be, surely. Surely we must get to choose again. Let's take a look at some of the uh, lower rated players in the side. I mean, there's phew, some decent players here. Some decent players indeed. Richarlison's 89 rated. He's going to be fun to play with. Where does Ziggy slide in here? <laughs> That's the question. What are they like for left backs? Yeah, they're pretty good. I mean, really... Really, we shouldn't be signing too many. <laughs> I mean, we shouldn't be adding too many in. So we don't play a competitive game until mid-2022 where we meet China in our first FIFA World Cup group stage game. We've got a glittering array of friendlies before that, which we may play a handful of. But we've got time. There must be another selection between now and the World Cup. Yeah, there's another one there. Yeah, there's loads. Okay, yeah, we're not going to change that now. Let's keep moving. Q 
China in the World Cup. Money has changed hands there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it has. Right, what have we got here? Oh, Camposano's been called up. Good on you, mate. He deserves that. Uh, where does that show up? Player status? Just Camposano. Deserved. Very much deserved. 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 Right, come on, scouts. We need something. We need a glittering diamond of an attacking midfielder. Oh, Troy Deeney's not coming. He's not coming. I think it's the coronavirus. It's not going to... It's not going to do it. It's a shame. It's a big shame. Uh, I just don't know what to do, actually. There's some decent players here, but they're all just slightly too highly rated or just not of interest. How have we got left at the end of the window? Two games today, and then the Flamengo, massive Flamengo game. Then we've got transfer deadline day. Still, I'm not too concerned about getting stuff done. I think we're just going to keep moving into our second game of the episode. Up against Londrina. I think another promoted side. Yeah, this is a Serie B team, isn't it? I remember playing them. So we're on a fairly easy run of games at the moment. How is everyone looking? <sighs> Ziggy on a downward arrow. Hmm. Guess we're going to have to play Sano and Bustos up top. First time we get to see Nahuel Bustos as our starting centre forward. God, there's some tired players in here. This is a game we should be winning at the Magisto, so I think we're going to have to... Actually, we've got a bit of a, got a, bit of a break after this, haven't we? How long a break have we got? Luckily, Bustos not... Injured, oh, he's got one. Oh, it's not a massive break, but it's bigger than we'll have generally. May still want to make some changes here. Yeah, this two centre forward look is working pretty well for us, I think. I think that has helped. Uh, Mara Jr., very tired. Let's start Quizzy and Ribeiro there. That is, that is a classy duo. Technical ability, technical ability off the charts there. Uh, we'll let Marcinho have a rest, bring on Naldo back in. Blue arrows a piece for the two centre backs. I mean, we probably keep that as it is. We'll let Igor onto the bench. And that's it, really, yeah. That's going to be us. I think we can do it. Sano can play as a striker. 71 rated, not that bad. Um, just for keeping the formation as it has been, we're going to leave that. Londrina, 66 rated centre back there. 64 rated right midfielder. Should be a win. Let's get into it. Enrique, yeah, Roni benched again. I just think I might be done with him. He did score a goal, didn't he? But I just, he's... One of those players where the stats suggest he should be something, but he just doesn't play like it. He doesn't feel like he's that good at anything. It was his pace that attracted us to him, but he doesn't seem to be able to use it to his advantage. I don't know. We haven't given him enough chances, to be honest. There's a low knee. I think we keep it as it is. So we're back at the Majestoso. Ho, ho, ho. The optimism must be reaching fairly high levels. Last season, we challenged for the lead. We were there right until the last day of the season, but we put in an incredible run late doors to put ourselves into that position. Now, we're leading from the front, which brings with it its own level of difficulty, its own problems. The physical side, important, obviously, a long season with lots of games, but leading from the front, the mental edge that we need to have is going to be absolutely key. And uh, need good performances at the Majestoso. As a base for that. And that was not the best start there. But even as we'll get it back. Quincy back in today at the stadium full. People who love him are now though as well. And Asano. It's like a throwback side. Asano. 
to take on Oliveira. It's obvious, and it's red very easily. Thiago Meyer again. You've got a Thiago admire that. He unfortunately loses out. Bustos, you could have had that, mate. Argentina Ribeiro. Great shoulder there. Ah, oh, it's just bouncing around. We can't seem to win it back. Oh, that's poor. Very wet today in Campinas. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. That's how it's going to go, is it, today? It's going to be a scrappy one. Yeah, James, I completely agree. We should have worn the fucking tie and, tie and shirt kit for this. Plays like Asano, Arnaldo and Jimmy Quid starting. This really does feel like we're going back hundreds of years. Hopefully they can impress. They've done it plenty of times. In this incredible stadium full of incredible fans. And a little flick into Ribeiro. That's nice. There's the overlap. There it is. Oh, that's classy. Bustos is there. A little bit of flavour there from Everton. Again, a lot of pressure on him today. Camposano finds Bustos. Lovely first touch. Oh, almost muscles his way through. Really unlucky. Really unlucky. Good defending though in the end, actually. Oh, now they're well cut out. Quincy now finds Asano, lays it back into Arnaldo. The power neck. Good ball in. Looking for Bustos. Unlucky. Oh, Camposano pouncing on that one. Foul, surely. <laughs> Too far out, even for Abney, you'd say. They're going to leave Arnaldo, though, are they? Oh, look for the little dummy. Oh, okay. People seem to be falling over a lot in this game. Quincy looks to step away, somehow finds his way past him. Oh, great work there. Quincy finding a little something extra. That was not the ball we were looking for. Pizzano couldn't get to it. And we get a long ball to deal with. No problems there. Arnaldo with a solid start to this game. Bearer now out to Abner. Just to go early into Bustos. It's with a difficult degree of difficulty turn there. Still can't get the shot away. He's getting into positions. This is a horribly scrappy game. It's weird when you change up a, a winning formula. And we've been forced to here. Through form and through fatigue. It really does feel like it makes a difference. Oh, that's very poor. Oh, Quincy! Christ almighty. First touch there, letting him down. Showing his age. Ahead of a stake that needed to be jumped on there. Forced him all the way back there, that's nice. They'll be restless though. And just oh so tonight, with the performance we've put in so far how well we've been playing on the road they probably expect us to come here put on a real show put on a Harlem Globetrotters style performance it's been sloppy it's been slippy and devoid of all quality so far Quincy though big header ah oh, just the reaction is not working here it's an untested forward duo today that's not the ball what the fuck was that Not meant to be for him. Oh, now the good work. Quincy lays it off. Oh, fucking hell. Terrible. Let's try the left hand side. Gabby no goal slots one for through there. 
Ribeiro, lovely ball. Takuma Asano, what a wonderful phrase. Takuma Asano. Wow. Worst 34 and a half minutes of the season? Probably. But that ball from Everton Ribeiro. Mwah. Absolute class. That's what he's brought into the side. We said he was going to be the one to come in and save this season. I think behind the scenes, in the engine room of this side, he has been keeping us ticking. It's a good ball from Gabby Nogal, actually, to put him in space. But to pick out Asano there. Lovely work. Lovely, lovely work. And a good goal from the Japanese forward. He's been pushed out of the side by Bustos in recent games. Bustos does really well there. Obviously got a call. He obviously speaks Japanese. <laughs> or uh, Takuma speaks Argentinian. But they got the message across somehow. Bustos left it. Unselfish from him. And Asano with a confident finish. He's a great player to have as an option off the bench. I've never really doubted him. <laughs> it's easy to say that now. But I've always liked him. That's why we kept him around. There was never any question of us selling him. Or considering selling him. He's been with us since day one. He's been really successful. And here he is again. And he loses the ball. Okay. He's not perfect. I never said he was perfect. Just said he always pops up. I'll never forget his stats in the first season. He was our leader in terms of combined goals and assists. Ribeiro steps inside. Gets away from Arnaldo again. Oh, he's done in there. Even though he gets a good head to it. Oliveira keeps it alive. It's not RX Oliveira. Oh, Arnaldo, yes. I'm using all the power available to him in that huge neck. Sano on the turn. Oh, the ball was on. Just out-muscled to it there. That's awful. And it's over. Okay. Yeah, really, really poor first half. We just about did enough by hook or by crook. And it was a great finish after a great ball from the classiest man in Brazilian football, Everton Ribeiro. Everton Ribeiro just looks like a classy South American attacking midfielder. What an awful half that is. 34 successful passes. That must be hitting a new low. <laughs> but we're winning. That's what counts. That's what we're here for. Here for the three points. And as much as the Ponte Pritanos, the Moises Lucarelli faithful, will want to see good football. They're all about the, uh, the title this season. Let's not forget a team with the longest history in Brazilian top flight football still yet to win a title that's what we're here for Abner will push him to the line here oh you need to be stronger than that still Abner oh, wanted to get the shot off if I'm honest you better be sure that you're going to get this away Ramos Oof, he's done very well there very lucky On a good ball in Thiago Maia. Finds Everton Ribeiro. Oh, looking for Asano again. Couldn't pick him out that time. Quincy, nice. Thiago Maia, what is that ball? That's gorgeous. Oh, Germano is there. Great challenge from him. Abner. Oh, it takes the long. Oh, you absolute animal. Absolute animal. Shades of Gareth Bale there. He's off the pitch, but he's still got it. Oh, Everton don't lose it now. Quidzi. Camposano. Asano. It's gorgeous. Arnaldo. Bustos is there. It's not going to be winning aerial battles. It's not what he's about. That's great build-up, though. More like the Joga Bonita that we were hoping for. That Abner there in the build-up. He's just such a insane athlete. And he wins it back again here. Thiago Meyer into Everton Ribeiro. Oh, there's a slip there. Bustos can't find his way past the defender despite the slip. 
Oh, Arnaldo, come on. And a bear into the box, just on the hour mark here. Arnaldo does really well. Quidzy, oh, that's gorgeous. Finds his, uh, finds his man there. Quidzy again, looking for Bustos. Oh, just skips off the wet pitch here at the Magisto, so it wasn't to be. But good work all round. I think we deserve another goal here. Deming saying Abner should get a call up, honestly. I think he should. I think out of all the players on this side, there's one that the Brazil national side can benefit from. Unfortunately, Bustos won't be one of them, being as he's Argentinian, and that's poor ball. He's looked good so far. If he doesn't score today, that will be the exception to most of his starting games. Lucky to get to that one. Now Capi. Abner. No, 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 no. Okay. Bit of danger here. Bit of danger. 68 minutes gone. It's whipped into a really dangerous area. It's straight into the gloves of Ivan. Thankfully. It could have gone horribly wrong. Good ball. I like the ball. Asano finds Asano. Oh, that's a good ball. Ribeiro. Oh, unlucky. If anything, it was Bustos who didn't read that pass. I think if Everton Ribeiro looks like he's missed a pass, is actually is the player he passed to that's the problem. That's a good bit of build up there. Oliveira through. Ibanez dives for it. Gavin Hogar has considered the punt. He saw an opportunity to bring it forward. On the deck. Ah, oh, just too much. Ah, oh, this game has been. Oh my god, awful. Abner. Bustos with the flick into Ribeiro. It's behind him. Ribeiro. No, everything is just going wrong. Everything is not working here. Let's have a little look here. Everyone's looking up, up for it still. I suppose we could bring. Fernando on there. Um, Bustos looking a bit tired as well. Let's bring Roni on. Roni Asano up top. And I guess. Abner to Beres. Let's just keep things tight. Let's see this one out. Get another goal. Oh, read that. Everton Ribeiro looking very tired there. Still getting back though. Still battling. <sighs> Tavares totally fucking missed that there, mate. Ibanez, no. Oh, shit. This is a goal, isn't it? Take it quick. Take it quick. No. Ah, one all. One all. You're gutted. Absolutely 100% this is going in. There it is. Fucking dick bags. Oh. <laughs> oh. Frustrating there. I'm not a fan of the team we've got on at the moment. Barra looks early for Roney. Stopped his run. Held her. What are you doing, mate? Sano, that's not the right ball. Ah, oh, lost the opportunity there. That's a good ball, though. Sano into trouble. Such an itchy nose. Camposano, good foot in. Ooh, Juan. That's no good. Come on. It's the yellow card there for Camposano. Come on. Get it back. Oh, that's a good ball. Ribeiro now can play in Roni. 
The macaroni is on the pitch, full of pace. Oh, he's overhit it. No! <laughs> oh, one touch too many, but he gets away with it, and it's an instant impact from the macaroni as he goes on the pitch. You're gonna ruin your, sh you're gonna ruin your shirt there. Ruin those lovely, hugely baggy shirt, trouser shirt and trouser combo that he always wears. It's Everton Ribeiro with a slide rule pass through the centre. And Roney with the pace against a tired defence. Exploiting them there. Everton Ribeiro with two pinpoint passes today. That have been the difference. We've just about got a toe to that there. We've made it work today. We've made it work. And it's all been down to this man. Pulling the strings in the centre of this side. Let's not forget we got Ribeiro for something stupid like 24 million. It must have been a contract dispute. It's sort of through his legs, sort of off his thigh. We'll absolutely take it there. Zico loving that on the pitch. You'd think it was a cup final. What will he actually do in the cup final if we get there? Copa Libertadores final. It's letting off flares on the pitch. Everton Ribeiro. What a classy man he is. Oh, Luis Fernando. Intercept God. Big chance here, though. Philandrina to draw things level again. Ramos, dangerous ball in. Ivan heads away. Everton Ribeiro is there. Passing us into trouble. Shit. Come on, Luis Fernando. Wrecking ball. Yes, Quid Z. Got a chance here. Oh. oh. It's a foul there, ref. Ref. Fucking hell. No. 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 <laughs> oh, that was a bit closer than we would have liked. Once again, a game that we didn't really play very well in. Certainly didn't deserve to win there, according to the stats. But we made it work. We made it work, thanks to Everton Ribeiro. Two vital, vital passes with a difference today. But we made that look very, very difficult. And at the end, we very nearly chucked away the three points. But we keep them coming. That's key. We keep that three-point separation from Flamengo, who we play in about a week's time. That is going to be the season-defining game, I'm sure of it. But we did enough there. So, nothing from the scouts then, I'm guessing, in that time. Nothing at all from the scouts, not even a message. We're going straight into this one. We've not found an attacking midfielder. We don't look to be finding one. We've got all the scouts out looking for one now. If the team says as it is, then that's fine. We've just got a hell of a lot of money. I mean, we probably, on transfer deadline day, even if we don't find someone, we're going to sell Tavares because you've got to get that 36 mil for him. We're not going to sell MJ unless something better comes along. Camposano, that's an absolute disgrace from Palace. As much as a, It would be quite a fun rule maybe for future series and it, leagues like this that if a Premier League team comes in, you've got to let them go. Because you really do, really should let them go. Um, it's more of a contract issue that's making him so cheap. <sighs> there we go. Right, final game of the episode. Let's get it done. Let's make it three from three. This is by far the trickiest one. Where are they in the league? They're fifth. So they're having a good season. There's quite a big gap, actually, between first and second and the chasing pack. This is a team full of quality, and we're playing them away as well. I can't remember what our record is in Porto Alegre against this famous storied side. Um... I think we've struggled against them. Something's telling me we have. So we've had a bit of time to rest. Oh, bust us on the downward arrow. Well, Asano certainly played well in the last one. Got his goal, so he deserves a start today. As did Rony on a downward arrow. If they'd both been on the same form, that would have been a decision to make. Ibanez is going to have to miss out today. David Braz comes in. Ivan, an absolute bits at the moment. He needs a rest. I think we're going to have to play Fabiano. This does not look good. This does not look good for us at all. Um, Everton Ribeiro on a downward arrow. Pfft, 
Jesus Christ. I mean, the form he's in, we keep him in over Quidzy. Yeah, Enrique, I think it was international who knocked us out of the Copa uh, Brazil. So we've got some bad blood here. And they're a good side. They've got Sara Fiori, a player that we're looking at. 79 rated attacking midfielder. They've got a good centre forward. We've got Ziggy on a blue arrow. And we've got Takuma Asano. What a wonderful man. Let's get into it. Let's make it three from three. We've not deserved to win any of the three games, or any of the two games so far. But after a 759-mile journey south to Porto Alegre, we come to take on the Rollo Compressor. Yeah, that's the, the nickname I really like, the Steamroller. I don't know, I just like the name Rollo Compressor. It's probably not Rollo. Rollo Compressor. Love it. It's a good name. So this was a side that had its era of dominance in the 40s. And that's where they got their nickname, the Steamroller. They were that good. They were a crazy offensive side. And a lot of stuff then. Uh, they haven't won any titles recently. They won a few top flight titles in the 70s. Since then, no real success. But they're a decent side, as we've seen. But they're a very good side at the moment. We're having some form issues though. It seems to be a slight problem at the moment. So we're getting some bad form, and that is coming, I believe, from the fatigue that they're showing. Camposano, great header there, gets up really well. MJ into Thiago Maia. Vera lays it off to Camposano. Considers the ball through. Got good ball into MJ. Rides the challenge there. Up to Marcinio. Sano, nice. Oh, lovely ball there into Marcinio. Oh, whips a lovely one in. Ziggy's there. What a ball that is. Dug it out from under his feet. Whipped it into a dangerous area. High degree of difficulty there. Made it look very casual. Ziggy was there lurking. The blue arrow today. Oh, watch yourself. Oof. Ziggy out for... Blood there straight away. It's a good little layoff there. Here is Sarah Fiori, the one we've been looking at. Oh, he gives Abner, Abner the razzle dazzle. Great opportunity here. Huge save there from Fabiano. In today for maybe his first start of the season. I can't remember. I haven't seen much of him. Ivan showing serious fatigue, enough for us to have to rest him, which is rare. I think Ivan certainly will be looking for a call up under Zico. David Braz is in there. Does well. Campazano's put way too much on that. That's shit. No, no, no. No pairs. It's just. That's the sting taken off that there. By David Braz's foot. This is going to be a real test this game, I can tell. MJ, I like that ball. No, oh, don't like that ball, though. Ribeiro looking for Ziggy. Lovely first touch. Out to Abner here. Flights it up. Asano's there! <laughs> yes! Takuma Asano. What a wonderful goal. Look at those two players. They've played so many games together. They've been a part, an integral part of this incredible Ponte Preta revival. And uh, Abner with another goal, with another assist, sorry, from the side. Takuma Asano with another goal. Bustos watches from the bench. Kumarasana, the old battler, the fan favourite, putting in work here. When given the opportunity, he has stood up. And he's jumped up there. He's been counted. Not a player you'd associate. Getting his head on it in the box. He's a versatile player. Plays above his stats, just like Ziggy does. Gets assists and goals. And that's two and two for him. Take the sting off the start of this difficult away tie with an early goal. Just 15 minutes in. He really does look like a danger man for them today. Lopez with the layoff. Great first time ball there. Marcinho does really well. That's a good ball into Campuzano as well. Campuzano just about finds Everton Ribeiro. Oh, lovely passing there. Now Junior looking for Everton. He's continued his run. Difficult ball. Well played out. Easy pick up there for Camposano. Ribeiro just couldn't get his foot to that quick enough. Moreno. Good 
big pressure here from Ponte Preta. Oh, it's a mistake. Oh, Sano to dart away from him there. Whoop! Oh, what are you doing there, Abner? Ribeiro out to Abner. MJ. Looking to confuse... Oh, that is just fucking Mara Jr. all over that is. Good footwork, beat his man sort of, and then just passes it straight into touch. That's why the fans want you out, I'm afraid, MJ. I like you. But that is absolutely textbook. Good pressure again. International determined to pass it out from the back. And once again, we make them pay for that decision. All in looking for Asano. Javier Maya, Everton Ribeiro. Oh, holds him off really well. Asano was there. The ball was on. Senior read that really well. Back to deal with the danger there. And drives powerfully drives forward there. Sano. Senior continues his run. Cross it here with the left foot. Lovely ball. Ziggy far post had to finish that. Great ball in from Marcinio. He's put in a couple of real corkers so far in this game. Fortunately, Ziggy there, even on a blue arrow. We've got the jump on the smaller man at the far post. Had to finish that. MJ is good, but he's no Everton Ribeiro. Completely agree. He could learn so much from Everton Ribeiro. Hopefully he does. Hopefully he has. Sarah Fiori again. Doing really well up against Abner. So Fiore is doing a good job of getting himself scouted today. Oh, MJ. It's like it feels like I'm almost doing it on purpose, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, Gabriel. Comes across. Snuffs out that danger. Oh, more loose passing. I'm not seeing any good work. It's having a good game today. Drills that one into Thiago Maia. Good ball into MJ. Oh. Ziggy. Asano back into Ziggy. On the left foot. Oh, it's off the post. The rebound. What a save that is. What an incredible save that was. Bloody hell. Abner. Around the corner into MJ. We could have another opportunity here. MJ ball, Ziggy, oh, with the header behind him, Ziggy, how has he not scored yet? So many opportunities, rattling the post with a great effort there. And then we're just toying with him, MJ gets the shot, uh, the pass away. Difficult there, difficult header. Uh, we need to get a second goal here, we deserved it. Done everything right except for put it in the back of the net, and they are making so many mistakes here. Thiago Maia can get to it, but MJ will. Ah, oh, that was poor. Oh my god, it's like they want us to score here. Thiago Maia does really well. Oh, Ribeiro can't find Ziggy. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> oh, Q Samba music. <laughs> Everton Ribeiro's incredible run of form continues. But that was Yoga Benita. Of the highest calibre. His passing move here. One, two, three. Oh, that's lovely. What a play. What a goal. That's the Ponte Preta that Zico has been trying to build. Campuzano, MJ. Everton starts it, receives it again. And he is on fire. I was looking back at the little community post that I do to talk about the streams, and it was three or four streams ago. A little picture of the handsome face of Everton Ribeiro saying, Don't worry, I'm on my way to save your season. And he's been a star 
in the last two or three games. Pick that one out. After two worryingly average performances, hopefully we're going to come through with an absolute belter. And, uh, yeah. I think he has, I mean, he definitely has played for Brazil before. He's got a great chance for another run in the Cellar Sal. After impressing Zico. He's played like that. Marcinho as well, you know, he's looking good. Not a player. I mean, we gave him the 999 shirt because we thought he was a liability. Oh, more great football here from Ponte Preta. Sano now into the box. Put it back here looking for Ribeiro. Ah, oh, it was on. It was definitely on. But yeah, Ribeiro for Brazil. Lopez lays it off. Renato. Ah, oh, well done, Thiago. Not so good pass. No, don't let him go. Fabiano off his line. Fucking shit, that was. That was really poor. That was Gabby just getting lazy there. Simple. Lazy off. You've got to go with him, Gabby. Oh, just, just, just fucking slow. Slow to react there. All right, we can't let this one slip. Not after the goals we've scored today. On the better side. Loops it in, looking for Thiago Maia. Linda Loso is going to have to do something with this. Does. MJ well red. Crunching challenge there. It's still us. Oh, Thiago Maia, lovely touch. No. Oh, keep that alive though. MJ Abner. From the side, fizzed in towards Ziggy. And here you go. Here's the man. The man we've been looking at. Lopez again. Oh, David Braz is there. Braz is with a great touch and a good ball through to find Ribeiro. Oh, looks for Ziggy. Foul there, surely. That's where he's not so good, he's on the run like that. But that's not what we sign up, that's awful. Ziggy, first touch. Oh, Roberto, what a, a great bit of defensive jockeying there. Don't let him do it to you again, Gabriel. Fucking hell, well done. Abner, it's yours. They're finding a way back into this here. Lindoso does well, Abner, yes. Oh, that's lovely. Now Abner through the centre. Kuma Asano. Oh, steps away, but into trouble. Still battling. Oh, lucky. Marcinho. Could still get to this ahead of Moreno. Oh, not quite. I think we could be about to let them back into this one if we're not careful. Pressure here. Very high up the pitch. Seems to be finding a way out. Oh, they do. And that's very simple in the end. Having a great header. MJ now. Chago Maya. Oh, lovely layoff into Everton. Ribeiro hits it well. Keeps it low this time. Forcing the keeper into a save. Another goal now you feel would kill it. Make any changes? Probably. Not a lot that I want to make, though, to be honest. Okay, keep it as it is. We do need to think about the Flamengo game, though, which is coming up. Uh, I think we'll leave the top two as they are. Okay, Quidzy there. We need to give Everton a rest. And they could do with a rest, too. To bear is a bit of a liability, but I think we'll be alright there. I think we're going to bring on Fernando just to shore things up. That'll be central midfielder Thiago Maia. I think that'll do it. 
So we want the win today, but we need to be thinking about what could be the decisive game this season. Quidzy. Campuzano. Find Ziggy. Lovely turn. Ziggy. Sano. Yeah. There he is. There he is. Takuma Asano. We've got a real selection headache on our hands. I mean, didn't have to do much for that one. But when called upon, he finished well. On his weaker foot as well. Good reactions. Good goal. And there we are. As we said, one more. Thought would do it. That could be us done here. Three wins out of three. Not going to start celebrating yet because that could be the pride before a fall. We are looking top draw at the moment. Lovely ball there. Thiago <sighs> Meyer looking a little leggy. Madness still making his runs. I know it's not. It's Junior Tavares. It's away from Zika. Looks up. Ziggy on the turn. What a goal that would have been. High degree of difficulty with that one as well. Quincy, almost. Fernando's in there. Asenio just slips in Asana. That's a great ball. Couldn't quite muscle his way past the defender this time. Oh, Marcinio, come on. That's unnecessary. It's going to be a yellow card there for the right back. Just try to stop the attack. I don't think we had any issues. I know nine for that yellow card. David Braz, decisive. Asano ball over the top, looking for Ziggy. Will he finally get his goal today? Oh, looks for the chip. Could still go in. <laughs> that would be classic, Ziggy. Couldn't quite finish that one off. Plenty of chances to. Plenty of chances to kill this one. Senior, he's looked good today. Ball high and wide. Tavares slow to react. First touch there. So I admire across. Ooh, oh shit. That's a hell. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, David. You're not going to play much, but you let him roll in there. Oh, that's a easy. Fabiano's not been called upon much today, but he's been okay when he has been. It's a good bit of distribution there out to Marcinio. Sano. Oh, somehow he's got away with that. Now Sano inside. Still to Kuma Asano. Oh my word. Oh, getting Ziggy with it. Oh, yeah, Sano deserved that. Oh, he's offside. That's unfortunate. Great work from Takuma Asano. He is putting down a marker now. He's saying, if we're going to make a run for the league, if we're going to be in the Copa Libertadores, I want to be involved. I'm going to keep showing you that I should be with my performances. It's the way to do it, and he is doing it right now. Campuzano into Asano. We've not let off him in this game, and that's been the key. We've just kept going. We've kept coming at him. Even when they've been looking to find a way back in. That is truly awful ball there. Not much better. Junior now. It'll be only a consolation, but David Braz says, not on my watch. And that is three out of three for us today. What an episode. Everson Ribeiro has been the key, but Takuma Asano, that man there, hasn't been far off. He's been exceptional. We're making things very, very difficult for Flamengo. We're leading from the front this season. And there we have it. Dominant. Dominant today. Asano with a 7.5. No one less than a 6. Very pleased with that. Bustos watching from the bench, thinking... Wow, okay, that Asano's not actually that bad, is he? Flamengo keep the wins coming as well, though, making it interesting. It's going to be very much a two-horse race. They're 11 points ahead of third-place Gremio. 
we keep that three point cushion. But if we so much as slip even a tiny amount, you know they're going to be there. They're not going to stop winning. They had a really poor couple of seasons last season and the season before. They, maybe they've made some signings, I'm not sure. Obviously, we signed Everton Ribeiro from them. Maybe they reinvested that money somewhere. Um, but the narrative here, obviously, massive. Zico up against his old club, a two-horse race against them. And we play them in the next game of the next episode. <whistles> Got to join me for that stream. That's going to be a big one. Really big one. And then we will do Brazil, Belgium. And then we've got Vasco da Gama and the end of the transfer window. It's going to be a very busy episode. So you have to join me for that one. Still no fucking scouts reports. So don't know what we're going to do there. Maybe we're not signing a new attacking midfielder. It might be a last gasp, late transfer deadline day something. But that's going to be on uh, on Tuesday. Saturdays and Tuesdays. Those are the live streams. Same every week. It's pretty much always 10 o'clock as well. You can set your calendar for that, I would say. Very rarely it's at 9, but yeah. 10 p.m. BST. Smash that like button. Thank you, Matios. Thank you very much. Um, but that's it for today. Thanks for joining me, as ever. Yeah, no scouts. Big, big game at the Moises Lucarelli. This is the game of the season. Got to join me for that on Tuesday at 10 o'clock. Until then, have a great weekend. I'll see you in a bit.